The wall climbs the fell in the teeth of the wind Stands easy on the green valley floor Right, you have to excuse. Excuse their touch. So, first day here, and I thought I'd come out into this garden of the cottage area. That's a good, <coughs> I guess it's a, a good long way that way, somewhere. It's a fantastic place, absolutely beautiful place. If you ever get the chance to come up to Cumbria, visit Holly's Lodge, or the Holly's Lodge, I think it's called. It's a fantastic place. Beautiful scenery, absolutely stunning, stunning landscape. I mean, I've been here before, but I'll keep saying it again and again and again. It is just incredible. Um, over that way, you can't see, but I'll just show you some point. You've got the Northern Pennines, and we're going to make a trip up there. I think one of the places was made uh, kind of more famous by, is it Julia Bradbury or Bradf Bradford? The lady on Country Fell. The saucy one. Yeah, she, she's made it famous to support a lot of trade or something to the area. Uh, but anyway, getting back to this place, yeah, they've got like a I don't know how long it is. 400, 500 foot long garden with wooded area. I don't know how well you can't see that too much, but it's terrible. But down there is a dew pond with green algae growing all over it, you know, like pondweed stuff. Like a disturbed pheasant pond down there. Isn't it? It's just amazing. Down that way, you can actually see them right in the way. Down that way is a gate, and I'll show you the photo I thought I was taking. It wasn't what I was planning or after, but it was one that came to me. If I do that, you can see me very funny. Yeah. So, I've got my faithful Mr. Pocket here. Say hello, Mr. Pocket. Hello. Bought my new tripod with me this evening. Beauty. Love it. Used it, what, three times now. No star shots tonight. I'm hoping to get one of those at some point, but it's a bit overcast. Um, but as far as I can see, we're in a bit of a dark sky area. Dog skies, dog skies. I can't wait for that. Um, yeah, so that's about right. So this is day two of the Cumbria vlog of Pembano Pencil Photography outdoors. At the turning of the century, I was a lad of five. My father went to fight the boys and never came back alive. Mother was left to bring us up, no charity did she seek. She washed and scrubbed and scraped along with seven and six a week. And when I was twelve, I left the school and I went to find a job. With growing kids, me ma was glad of the extra couple of bob. I'm sure some extra schooling might have stood me in good stead. But you can't afford refinements when you're struggling for your bread. Then when the Great War came along, I didn't hesitate. I took the royal shilling and I went to do me bit. I lived on mud and tears and blood three year or thereabout. Till I copped some gas in Flanders and was in the lead it out. Then 
when the war was over and we'd settled with the Hun, we got back into civics and we thought the fighting done. We'd won the right to live in peace but didn't have such luck. For soon we found we had to fight for the right to go to work. In 26 the general strike found us out on the street Though I had a wife and kids by then their needs I had to meet But a brave new world was coming with the brotherhood of man But when the strike was over we were back where we began So I struggled on through the 30s out of work now and again Saw the black shirts marching and the things they did in Spain So I brought me kids up decent and I showed them wrong from right But Hitler was the lad that came and showed them how to fight Oh, my daughter, she was a land girl, she got married to a yank And they gave me son a gong for stopping one of Rommel's tanks He was wounded just before the end and convalesced in Rome Married an eye time nurse and never bothered to come home. Well, me daughter, she writes me once a month a cheerful little note about their colour telly and the other things they've got. They have a son, he's a likely lad, and they're in 21. She tells me now that he's away fighting in Vietnam. On the pension now it doesn't go so far Not much to show for a life that's been like one long bloody war When you think of all the wasted lives it makes you want to cry I'm not sure how to change things but by Christ we'll have to try Saw a good 